poor man or the, 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 the single man or single lady in the country, the only outlet they had was to come to the pub and have the three glasses and, and, and I can tell you they drove home carefully and they haven't been the cause of the accidents that you you're talking about. And I can assure you that because I have a good grasp of what happens around around, around my neck of the woods and I know that, that nobody caused a fatality in the, and I travel a fair amount of ground uh, by, by having three, three glasses of Guinness drank. And, and if you're going to do this to the people in rural Ireland, you will isolate them further. And they're isolated enough already because many of them will know that their neighbour down the road was dead if it weren't for the, the death notice in the carry radio every morning at, at 8 o'clock. Because that's how rurally isolated they are at the present time. They have no other outlet. outlet. And it's a serious matter for someone, it's a very, very serious matter for someone in rural Ireland to lose, to lose their licence. And I tell you, they don't take their licence uh, lightly, and they have been obeying the law, Minister, and, they ha and the people with three glasses have not caused the accidents, the 35 accidents that you're causing in the way that it's been presented here to us, because I believe it, it has been hap happening in different ways. And we know what happened because we're on the ground to the black ice with the fellow with the one point, it was where the pedestrian was, was maybe after having a few drinks or something else happened to him, he fell out on the road and he was before the driver that came along driving with a point and a half point. I am ask you to address those, those, those issues and to check them out and check your figures because I, I, I firmly believe and, 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 and I'm very serious about it, Minister that the person with three glasses or the glass of wine, they, they have not been call, causing the fatalities. And if you want to, to do something about the fatalities, like I said to you, there's an awful lot of work to be done. There's speed in our roads, savage speed, and, and, and our roads are adequate, and there's bins, and there's cambers and roads, and there's a whole lot of other things to be addressed. It'll be very, very busy, but start start and do everything in, 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 in the proper order, do them things, and, 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 and then you'll see that we'll be reducing the, 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 the amount of accidents and the amount of fatalities, because that hasn't been done. The RSA haven't been listening to us, and, and, and the NRA haven't been listening to us. And I'm, I, I'm asking you, Minister, now, if you want to do a good day's work in your term, or go, do, do good work in your term as Minister for Transport, address this, these issues, because the issue that we're here in front of us is totally unnecessary at this time. Thank you very much, Chairman.